Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video asked for by Drunken Shooter where I used an Olicamp XTS pot with on the uh, Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove. It was something that he had asked for to see what it would go like. Uh, it actually worked a little bit faster than what I thought it would, but it wasn't very fast. Plus, the problem with putting the pot right onto the burner, the stove, it didn't really... I don't know, maybe I can show you here. It didn't really leave... Can you see it there? There. It doesn't really leave a lot of space for air. So one of the things I had said was I was going to try this again using the Evernew Titanium Cross Stand. It fits on there just like that. Kind of makes you think maybe the two stoves are just about the same. I was going to try a test with this, but then I got to thinking, I got this stove. I Let me back up. I already have an Evernew Titanium, but I got this version of it also because this was way cheaper than the Evernew. They're both titanium. This is a knockoff, doesn't have the liner, but it's a cheaper stove. So I thought, I've got nothing against the Evernew titanium cross stand, but this also is rather expensive. So I was thinking, instead of using something like that, couldn't we maybe do something else? What I thought I might try first is just a piece of wire bent into a U-shape now this is the stuff you see this all the time along the roads. Um, I love using this stuff for things because it's real cheap. Like I said, you can just find it growing along the roads uh, at election time. The only problem is don't ever harvest it before election day. But I just cut off a piece, bent it like this, and it fits right on top of the burner. Here's a closer up picture of it. Now the diameter of this wire is 0 0.14 inches or 3.7 milliliters millimeters yeah come on it weighs this piece of wire weighs uh, 0 0.32 ounces or 9.0 grams just as a comparison this weighs what did I say 0.57 ounces or 16.3 grams so this actually weighs 7 grams more than the wire. So even that way, saving a little bit of weight with the wire might be something that people would be interested in. Now I don't know, this will only raise the pot 140 thousandths, but maybe that's enough to give more air to come in for the jets. We saw that the flames in the beginning actually were burning on the outside of the pot because the alcohol just couldn't get air. So it was burning out here until it calmed down some. So what I'm going to do is try this today and just see what it does for comparison. So let me get some water prepped. I'll get some alcohol in here and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so I've got two cups of water in here setting at 60 degrees. Again, I put 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce of methanol in the stove and took out one milliliter to put in the primer pan. Let's light that. That's lit. Turn on the timer. Now I can see it that uh, the uh, pot is raised up more than what it was yesterday. Maybe you can see it here that we have a little bit bigger of a gap there by what was it 140 thousandths but never know that could be enough. If it is <laughs> this will be a real cheap way of bringing this up to snuff. So there's the primer burning. I hear the alcohol. Just got to wave this a little bit. In this case this is where you need some breeze so that the uh, the jets catch flame. Come on. There we go. So now the jets are on at about a minute again. That's about what it was yesterday. Now the flames, to me, do look bigger than what they did yesterday. Still a little bit of burning in the primer. But the flames actually do look larger. 
So let's see where it goes from here, how long it takes for boil. Okay, it's been about two minutes since the jets started up. The temperature looked like it was up to, what, about 98, 99 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that might be about the same as it was yesterday. A lot of moisture forming along the bottom of the pot. The uh, humidity here in the room right now is 54%, temperature 67 degrees, uh, sunny and breezy outside. So, I don't know, like I said, these jets actually look larger to me than what they did yesterday. But we'll see what it does for the boil time. So let's see how long it takes. There we have 210. 211. To 12 at 947. Okay, nice. So that's two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 9 minutes 49 seconds. Yesterday the test took 14 minutes 3 seconds to get to this point. Nice. So let's see how long it takes from here to uh, run out. Okay, the flames are going. going gone at 1424 it looked like huh that's something okay so two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil oops came to a boil in 9 minutes 40 seconds that was about 4 minutes quicker than the time I got yesterday, which was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, 14 minutes, three seconds. So that's about a little more than four minutes quicker. But then, yesterday it ran till 20 minutes, 19 seconds. Today it only ran to 14. So of course you make up the quicker time, uses up alcohol. So it depends on what you want. This just making this little modification really did help the time, but it also used up the alcohol. Just with a piece of wire like that. I think that's pretty neat. So you can find the wire along the road. Again, like I said, don't harvest it before election day. Do it the next day. You'll always find lots of it. Uh, I get lots of it and store it up because I use it a lot. I mean, I make you know, all kinds of different things out of it. And you can get different sizes. Some people go cheaper. Some candidates go with the thicker wire. It all depends. But uh, it makes a difference. And it, this wire, this is ch cheaper than this. Again, I'm not knocking this, but it's cheaper. And it weighs less. That weighs less than this. And this is titanium. Oh, one thing before I forget. Yeah, it's still too hot to pick up. I've had a lot of people asking me about the EDC and the name of this. Why do I call it the Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove? That nobody can think of who would be carrying something like this in their pocket for everyday carry. My only answer is I call it that because that's what it was called on the eBay ad where I bought it. I think they just used all buzzwords in the title so that the stove comes up on multiple searches real easy. Survival, yep. EDC, another buzzword. Ultralight, another buzzword. Titanium, buzzword for a lot of people. And alcohol stove, so that's what they called it. And I just keep it in there so that if people are looking for this, they have the correct title to find it. That's why I call it the EDC. Personally, meaning me, I don't think this is an EDC, an everyday carry type of a thing. I wouldn't carry this in my pocket. But that's why I call it that. So, again, I hope this helps. Drunken Shooter. Just a... Yeah, it cooled off already. Just a little piece of wire. I mean, you could do all kinds of shapes. If you want to do triangle the whole bit, I just use what I call U-shape. 
So anyway, I hope this helps Drunken Shooter. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.